Sunday. It's about, it's 10 o'clock and still in bed as you can see. I'm about to get up. I did not go to bed late last night, but this morning I just feel so drained. Like just really tired and don't want to get out of bed. I don't have any plans to go anywhere today. Cause I'm still kind of tired and debating whether I should get up. But I do want some coffee. So I think that's what's motivating me to get up. And yeah, I know the shower will make me feel better. It'll wake me up. So let me do that and then I'll be back. Okay, I am dressed and yes, I have this hair on. Y'all, I'm not sure if I like it. I'll probably give it this one to Savannah. So we shall see. I don't know what the weather's going to be like today, but I'll open up the door for now. Just let some fresh air in. So, you guys, after I said that I was going to get up and take a shower, I laid in bed at least 30 more minutes before I got up. It's much later. I still have my door open, but not my sliding glass door. I have my fan on. It's warm outside, but it's not unbearably hot. And plus, I have my wind tunnel fan on. And I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is Boston's new dog bed. Um, Savannah and Cheyenne are not here right now, and he is laying in front of Savannah's door. Silly dog. Anyway, the night that I got this for him, not the night, but the day that I got it for him, because this old one is like a mess, it's worn, it's just ugly and whatever. So, of course, I need to get him another one. But he would not lay on it for nothing, I guess, because it was new. He was like, nope. And then he would lay on the floor, and I'm like, oh, no, I didn't pay for this for you to lay on the floor. So, now he's used to it, so he lays there. So, anyway, I'm just watching. I don't even know what this is. I think because I fell asleep um, in the beginning. It sounded good, but it's something on Disney Plus, but I don't know why I paused it. But anyway, I just sitting here enjoying the Sunday afternoon. All right, so it's much later in the day, like much later. And you guys, I wanna cry. Nothing bad happened, but this is just me being dramatic because I'm a dramatic person when it comes to a lot of things but my boss called me today and she gave me a date to report back in well not just me all of us I want to cry I shouldn't answer the phone I would have to call her back regardless I mean I knew this was coming but I mean if it could have held off till like December, January, I'd have been totally okay with it. I would have been. Anyway, I mean, you guys, don't get me wrong. I'm completely happy and thankful to have a job. And I don't know if you guys remember, but when all this started, I was really upset at my job because they, I felt that they lied to us and told us we would be able to work from home when that wasn't the case. Anyway, um, it ended up working out for my benefit. So even though I got mad, it worked out for me. I was able to still live life, pay my mortgage and stuff like that. So yeah, I was happy and I'm still happy. And even though I still have a few weeks before I go in, it's still, it was like, oh my goodness, the dreaded phone call. So like I was saying, yes, you guys, I am thankful and happy to have a job. I'm enjoying being a woman of leisure, be able to wake up whenever I want and go out whenever, I, I don't know. Um, maybe one day that will happen. You guys stay tuned i do have some things that i'm planning so anyway that's a story for another time but yes anyway you guys i will be back to work in a few weeks anyway let me not dwell on it right now because the more i think about it i mean i can't be sad i mean i knew this wasn't gonna go on forever um is the virus gone no so i'm still going to do what i need to do to protect myself because i don't want to get sick 
and I don't want my family sick, you know, so I'm still going to do what I need to do. You know, people heard things about the riots and they're not talking as much about the virus on the news. It's not gone. They don't have a cure and yeah, and just like everyone's thinking the second wave is going to come, I'm going to be wise and smart. And I'm still going to do what I need to do to protect myself. I haven't done anything all day. Um, she called me this morning and I kind of like, I, I was bummed, but then I wasn't bummed because I knew it was eventually coming. I, I just knew. And yeah. Anyway, enough about that. So I'm just sitting here. I'm watching a low budget, scary movie. Y'all know me. I'm a sucker for them. And it's called The Final and it's about these high school kids, the like the outcasts, the ones who are always picked on. They threw a party for the popular jocks and the ones who picked on them, and they're like torturing them. So I'm a sucker for scary movies, so even the low budget ones. I just pause it for a minute just to talk to you guys, but yeah, that's all I'm doing. Nothing much, I gotta go straighten up the kitchen. And I still have not, I bought a few things for my pantry to reorganize it i just haven't done it yet i have all of the containers sitting on my counter washed out and everything ready to go i just haven't did it it's not like i don't have the time you know but i just haven't done that and i said i was going to do it today and i just didn't maybe i will do it later i don't know anyway um that's the only thing that's new hello you guys it is saturday and yeah i know another hairstyle and y'all just I'm just going through a phase right now to where I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair. And I know there's a lot going on in the counter and my table over there. I'll explain that in a minute. Anyway, um, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair because I think I told you guys a story. I don't have a permanent person who does my hair anymore because I fired the last person. And I don't go to a shop. Usually the people that I've been finding have been working from their home because they're less expensive some of them the person who does Cheyenne's hair she does a really good job and Cheyenne did have her hair done there recently Cheyenne wore her mask but I don't think the girl wore her mask or and there's other people that live in the house so even though I'm not afraid like that like oh my god you know it's still I would rather go to some place where at least everyone is being precautious and I don't know so we'll see so until then you guys if you just if you see me with different hairstyles just just say okay <laughs> and keep it moving so this is another thing that i'm trying this is actually a ponytail so y'all know i wear ponytails a lot so trying this out see how i like it i don't know anyway and it's really long i really usually don't like my ponytails this long i like my braids long but i don't get braids anymore so um well, other than when Shine did my hair when we was stuck in the house. So, yeah, that's that about the hair. And I'm just sitting here catching up on my YouTube videos. Um, nothing much today. The reason why there's so much stuff on my counter, you guys, and over there is I am actually cleaning out my pantry finally, trying to rearrange it and organize it to make it better. But I'm going to do a separate video on it. It's not going to be nothing fancy because I say pantry, but it's really just a huge, deep cupboard. <laughs> you know, I wish I had a walk-in pantry, but my kitchen's not that big you guys so i'm working with what i have to work with i bought some containers from the container store i think i told you guys that and so i swapped out my cereal containers for those um and i have it in the counter there but i'm not finished with the whole um reorganizing everything because i need to get a three more containers one for sugar rice and flour because i need bigger ones i have smaller ones but i don't want to have like my flour in three different containers just because it's small so I do need to go back to the container store tomorrow actually not tomorrow tomorrow Sunday um, not that I can't go on Sunday I'm just gonna go out on Monday so I want to do it right now and get some more containers and those right there I am going to wash out and I'm going to give them to Cheyenne she is buying things and she is going to be moving out soon so soon is going to be just me and Savannah and then I don't know what Savannah's plans are right now but yeah you guys so anyway that's why all that's right there we got to wash those out and then my old coffee pot right there that I had in my um, pantry 
I'm just gonna throw it away. I asked Shine if she wanted it, but she has a she's gonna get a Keurig machine, so you know, hardly anybody uses the old school coffee pots anymore. So I don't even know if thrift stores are open. I think I need to find out because I do have clothes and stuff that I need to give away that are in good condition that somebody could actually use. So I'm gonna find out, and if not, I would hate to throw something that works very good away if someone wants it or could use it, so I don't know. And if you guys haven't noticed, we do have a humidifier. It just helps better with the air. Cheyenne had childhood asthma growing up, so that's gone, but I don't know, just that just helps better with the air and the dust because I do have hardwood floors in, you know, throughout my house. The floors get really dusty. I sweep every single day. Every single day I sweep and then I vacuum my rug, whatever, that's in the living room. And yeah, so that actually helps with the air. So if you guys see that on, just, that's why. So anyway, um, what time is it? It is 2.20. That's all I've done so far you, today, you guys. I'm not planning on going anywhere. I do think I need to get some shoes for the wedding. It's going to be outside. So I'm not gonna get heels, like pointy heels to go inside the, you know, the ground. I may get wedges, so I'll do that um, before the wedding. And yeah, as far as what we need or whatever, we're done. My mom is actually gonna come on Tuesday, my mom and my aunt Diane, um, because they're gonna be here for the wedding as well. So yeah, you guys. Good, times. Good morning everyone. It is today is Monday and it's eight o'clock and I'm already out and about. I think my mom is coming today or tomorrow, but I just wanted to get a few things out the way. Trying to I actually set my alarm clock this morning because I'm trying to get used to waking up early again because y'all next Monday at this time I will already be at work at eight o'clock. But I'm trying not to think of it. I'm like, I have one more week. Let me focus on happier things and the wedding is this week and yeah so anyway going to put some gas in the car I don't really have a whole lot to do because nothing is really open this early but I decided to get up and do it this early because I'm just trying to get my body used to getting up again and it for a seven o'clock when my alarm clock went off, I was not happy. I have not set an alarm clock since this thing started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, so the weirdest thing happened. I haven't vlogged a lot in the last few days, but Sven and I, we decided that we wanted coffee late last night, like around 11.30, and we went to, where am I? We went to um, McDonald's, but Somewhere in our neighborhood, not on our street, I was driving and then I slowed down because I thought there was this cat crossing the street. And I'm like, that's no cat. That doesn't look like a cat. That's bigger than the cat. You guys, it was a raccoon. I am not kidding you. We were so shocked because in the area that we live in, okay, I guess raccoons could come, but I was so shocked to see it in my neighborhood. It was the weirdest thing and now I'm like, freaking out because don't they fight cats and dogs and whatever I know you guys could barely see me whatever um hold on okay you guys I was pulling up to the bank and every time I go to this particular bank I can never pull cash out I don't care if it's 20 bucks 40 100 whatever it always says temporarily unavailable so anyway I have to go to a further one anyway well I was talking about the raccoon so I know raccoons, from what I heard, can get pretty feisty and stuff like that. I, I know I've never actually seen one. So I'm like, oh my goodness, that poor house where I seen the raccoon like creeping in their back, not in their backyard, but it seemed like it crossed the street and it was trying to get in the person's backyard. I don't know if that person has dogs or cats that are out in the back, I feel sorry for them. So last night when we came back, um, even though Boston's an inside dog, I was like, do your business and hurry up and come back in because we don't want any problems. So yeah, there's a raccoon running loose in our neighborhood, you guys. Like I said, it's not on our street, but you never know. So 
I need some lotion. Oh, I have you guys propped up on where the lotion is. So I'm on my way back home, you guys. I hate this angle. You guys get all this. Anyway, um, I'm on my way back home and what should have taken me 20 minutes has taken me an hour because I literally had to drive to a further ATM. So I'm on my way back home now. See all this? I just wanted to show you guys my daily routine. I sweep every single day and see how Boston, he's still going in and bringing the wood chips in. Anyway, even before this whole COVID thing started, I swept every day because with hardwood floors, you guys, it just collects dust and everything. And I'm just looking outside because I thought someone was coming to my door. I'd have been like, nope, nope, reverse, turn around. Anyway, so let me finish sweeping and then um, I have some more errands to run today. And the errands that I did this morning, I wouldn't really call them errands, like I said, because not a lot, thought I seen a spider, <laughs> not a lot was open, but I just needed to force myself to get up, get out of bed, get out of the house because even if I got dressed, I would have sat in my chair and I probably would have went back to sleep. I just need to get myself back to the flow of things. One week today, at this time, I will be at work. Let me stop thinking about it. And if you think there's no way one day you can accumulate that much dust and whatever from just being in the house, you must not have hardwood floors or a dog because Boston, he's a dog and he still rolls around in the grass and sometimes before we let him in we'll see on his back and he's full of grass and stuff we're like mm, no you're not coming in but he tracks stuff in he's a dog he goes out multiple times a day to use the bathroom so yeah he's gonna track in stuff so that's my daily routine in the mornings now when i was working i would do it when i come home or whatever or maybe one of the girls would do it but um yes yeah. i'm so sleepy You get in a car service. I'm not around anyone. That's why I have my mask like this. I'm just getting the oil change. It's the next day, you guys. I'm so tired. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. That's how tired I am. Yesterday was so long. We went so many places. Take that back. We didn't go so many places. But when I got an oil change from my car, now at Nissan, what they do is you have to make an appointment. I don't mind. And I'm thinking, okay, great, appointment, you'll get in and out quicker. That's not the case. He said it should take an hour and a half. Then he said two hours. We ended up being there three hours just for a simple oil change and all that that goes along with it. So normally, because of my car, um, I have a 2018 Nissan Rogue. I use the better quality oil for it. So my oil changes are more expensive. So instead of it just being the normal price I pay for the oil change, I ended up paying $191 because apparently I have two filters in my car, a cabin filter and the oil filter or something like that. I don't know. I'm not really complaining about the money. Kind of. I don't know. But we were there three stinking hours. And afterwards, I just wanted to come home and go to sleep. But I couldn't because I had to go to the grocery store to get stuff to make um, not only for dinner, but... Um, our cabinet is still a mess because we are mainly Cheyenne and Savannah, but I'm helping out also, are doing the favors for Tariq's wedding this Friday. So I will show you guys that later. I'm tired right now, even though I'm up. It's 1026. We're on the way to Costco. Hopefully we can, because we need more uh, chocolate for the s'mores. And yeah. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm like really tired. And I haven't really done anything. Not a whole lot. I don't know. I sent the message to my boss just to confirm for Monday and ask her, are they requiring masks? And, you know, just little things like that that I need to know. And, you know, how iPhones have those three little dots. That's been going for a while. We'll see what she says. So my mom doesn't know I'm vlogging, but I'm vlogging. She's gonna love it because she's not gonna know until she looks at her camera. But um, I'm getting married in three days. I'm getting married in three days and everything's done. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go out to eat. Um, Baskin Robbins. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
<laughs> so we are at Applebee's and Tyreek and Annie are in the bathroom. Cheyenne's here also next to Savannah. Can and my mom is here, but you guys know about my mom. Yeah. Say hi, mom. Let him see your hand. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> she said, hey, hey, y'all. And Annie and Tyreek are back. Tyreek, my mama don't want to be in there, so just not. What did I say? Baskin Robbins. Not Baskin Robbins. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Okay. This is so weird. So sh Tyreek's room is basically a storage room right now. Don't judge us. But Cheyenne is sleeping in here tonight because my mom is sleeping in her room. Oh my goodness. So yeah, storage room. Wow. But it's going to soon become my filming room. Okay, so my kitchen is a mess right now because of all the wedding favors that we have that we made it's all over the place but we're done um oh today's thursday by the way so these are the wedding favors that they're giving out and it says sending you some more love and alisa and tyreek um that way they can have some s'mores um, for their wedding favor so we have this box here, this box here, and this box over there. Focus. And like I said, ignore my countertop. It's messy right now because we have been working, doing stuff as far as the wedding's concerned. So I just wanted to make sure I show you guys that before I forget. Master and work on the marriage. The reason I can give you this golden compass with such confidence is because based as it is upon 1 John 1, 7, it comes straight from the Lord himself, who said in this verse, if we walk in the light of his presence, we will have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Now this ship that we are launching today on the sea of matrimony is the fellowship. I know I have not vlogged a lot. Let me put this down. Where it is, I feel like it's going to drop. Anyway, so um, I haven't vlogged a lot because there's a lot that's been going on. So the little bit that you guys saw before, that was the area Tariq is getting married at. And um, what you saw was like, it was at the wedding rehearsal so was there doing that and i wasn't able to vlog a whole lot i was trying to yeah so you guys i know this video is just spotty and all over the place but it is what it is um the next video you guys see will be Tariq's wedding video can you guys believe this my son is getting married tomorrow in less than 24 hours he's going to be a whole husband my son my little Tyreek. Melissa is coming to the wedding so you guys will probably be able to see her video whenever she puts that up. You know I don't mind if she does of course. It'll probably be better than what mine is because at first Savannah was going to vlog but Savannah is in the wedding now so I'm gonna have to find someone to vlog and I'm pretty sure I have a person I am going to ask that may do it so if not the next video I'll probably try to you know use clips of whatever melissa has has her send it to me i don't know i'll work it out anyway you guys i don't know what's on this video like i said it's all over the place thank you so so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys when i'm a whole mother-in-law y'all what